Valley Conference Game of the Week. Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week as the Redbirds of Illinois State go head-to-head -head with their in-state rival, the Salukis of Southern Illinois. A very pleasant good afternoon, everybody. I'm Bob Rathman. My partner today is Tom Kozich, and welcome to Missouri Valley Conference basketball. Although early in the season, this time is still a very big ball game for both these teams. You know, Bob, you take a look at it. Both ball clubs have played excellent competition to this point in the season. Still early, as you say, but both ball clubs coming off disappointing home losses. They're wanting to get some things going. They feel good about their ball club, but right about now is the time where the season starts to be made or broken at this point. So they need to turn it up and every time that these two ball clubs get together it's always a great game southern illinois sweeping the series two the last three years and it was a blowout in this building a year ago if illinois state is to win here today they'll need a productive day from their point man jamar smiley well jamar smiley does so much for illinois state you take a look at the numbers right there leading the missouri valley conference in assists and get this coming off a ball game thursday night against northern iowa nine assists just two turnovers that's a great ratio indeed they are honoring the 67 NIT champs today, but even Walt Frazier would have a hard time guarding Troy Hudson. He's that good. What a three-point shooter. He leads the Valley in scoring. You know, Bob, there's little doubt in my mind that Troy Hudson is going to get his points. The question is, how many shots is he going to take? Illinois State's coaching staff hoping that he takes and shoots a low percentage. But there's no doubt in my mind, or anyone who watches the Missouri Valley Conference, no one can turn it up quicker than Troy Hudson. Indeed. Let's take a look at our band of camp frozen foods, keys to the game. For Illinois State, controlling tempo, and that directly relates to smiling. You know, they have to be very careful, though, Bob. They want to look for the break, but if it's not there initially, pull it out and be comfortable with running the offense. They also must take care of the basketball. They're turning it over way too many times, better than 18 per game. And for Southern Illinois, well, it's pretty easy. They're going to shoot early in the offense. There's going to be lots of long rebounds, so they must hit the offensive glass. And most importantly, sustain the defensive pressure. Illinois State, Kevin Stallings, no secret here. Of course, coach under Roy Williams at Kansas. There again, the Carolina connection. They'll be willing to crank it out, so Southern must stay patient. Right. When we come back, we'll introduce you to the starting lineups and have the opening tip from Carpendale as SIU meets Illinois State right after this. Missouri Valley Conference basketball is brought to you by Bud Light. Fresh beer tastes better. United Van Lines, America's number one mover. The quality shows in every move we make. Diet Pepsi, title sponsor of the 1997 Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. By Old El Paso. TWA, the official airlines of the Missouri Valley Conference. We're up to something good. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> People believe the world is getting smaller. At United Van Lines, we believe the world is still the same size. We've just helped to make it easier to get around. Let United show you how making a move to another country is a lot like making a move to another block. The same quality service that helped make us America's number one mover has also made us one of the world's leading movers with over 1,000 agents worldwide. Call your official mover of the Missouri Valley Conference. Call United Van Lines, America's number one mover. We'll look back on the Bulls and Rockets from Saturday night. The conference championship games in the NFL and a full night in the NBA and NHL tonight on The Report. Yeah, these types of games are going to make us better, you know what I mean? Yeah, Michael Jordan, one-on-one, -on -one. immediately following every game, exclusively on Sports Channel. 
You know, a slow Edelson gold labeled used car is like love. It's better the second time around. That's right, Jimmy. You know our used cars are better the second time around. And all slow Edelson Chevrolet gold label cars come with a 30 day, 100% guarantee on anything that might go wrong. With over 250 to choose from, you'll fall in love all over again the second time around. So buy a used car you can love at Salozzi Edelson Chevrolet, where you always, always save more money. From the SIU Arena in Carbondale, Illinois, the Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week matches the Redbirds of Illinois State and the Salukis of Southern Illinois. Let's meet today's starting lineups brought to you by Bud Light. We begin with Illinois State. The visitors come in with this lineup under head coach Kevin Stallings. They'll start Rico Hill at forward with Dan Muller. Leroy Watkins is in the middle with the Jeff Bauer and Smiley in the backcourt. And for Dan Muller, one of the big keys against uh, Illinois, uh, Southern Illinois today because Muller is a sensational defensive player, and he'll have his hands full, though. Kevin Stallings is the head coach at Illinois State. You take a look at Muller, and I think you're going to see him on Hudson. A lot of people at home are going to be surprised about that matchup. But Muller, the best defensive player in the Bull Valley last year, he really has his hands full this afternoon. For the Salukis, Rashad Tucker, Monte Jenkins, and Jamie Veach in the lineup up front with Troy Hudson and Shane Hawkins in the backcourt. Hudson, a superlative shooter. He had eight threes in one game earlier against Utah State, and Rich Heron knows that he needs to have a big game from his big man in the backcourt to be successful today. No doubt about that. And I, Bob, I think it's noteworthy at this point to mention both ball clubs really hurt by a couple of key injuries and that really have hurt the rotation with Southern Illinois with Chris right out with the back and really for Illinois State Steve Hansel really hurts him being out with the bad foot we might see him for a few minutes this afternoon uh, he's been out for several ball games with a bad foot but both of them really causing their ball clubs and some of the key personnel to play a lot more minutes than their coaching staff feel comfortable with this is the 107th meeting all time between these two great in-state rivals SIU leads the series 55 to 51. In fact, they've won three straight against Illinois State. And we mentioned it was a blowout here last year. Southern Illinois beat Illinois State 97-75 in this building. So a little revenge. In fact, the last three seasons has resulted in a regular season sweep. SIU's taken two out of those three. And Illinois State looking for a little revenge. Well, to throw a little tennis analogy, I guess it's time for Illinois State to hold their serve. How about? <laughs> yeah. Coming up is Jamie Veach to jump center for the Salukis. And he's in there against Watkins of Illinois State, and we are underway from Carbondale. The tip out of bounds and belongs to Illinois State. Well, you got a quick glimpse at Watkins, one of the true wide bodies in the Missouri Valley Conference, and that is going to be a tough matchup for Southern Illinois inside. Jerry Petro, Paul Jansen, Steve Olson, our officials today, assigned by the Missouri Valley Conference. Here's Dan Muller at the top of the key. On the wing. Skip gets it inside to Watkins. That doesn't go. Muller tips it out of bounds, and Southern Illinois has it. You know, I think early you're going to see Illinois State not happy offensively unless Watkins gets a touch each trip down the floor. They want to get Southern Illinois in foul trouble. Not a bad look off the first uh, offensive possession. Tipped out. Smiley comes up with it. Smiley's going to take it all the way in and misses the lay-in. The follow no good and a foul on Southern Illinois. Illinois State with the cat-like quickness of Jamar Smiley making that transition there from defense to offense and a pretty good breakaway. Just didn't get the points. Jeff Bauer goes to the line. A 74% free throw shooter. He's at 21 of his last 24 at the line. The transfer from East Carolina gives Illinois State its first point of the game. Well, he's been red hot of late also over the last three ball games, averaging better than 16 per outing. Very sound fundamentally. Won't hurt you, won't do anything great. He just does everything well, and you got to love those kinds of players. Shane Hawkins now gives it up to Tucker. Jenkins handles it. Illinois State uh, very aggressive in its man-to-man. -man. The bounce goes in. Here's the little jump hook that rolls off for Tucker. And it's Illinois State rebounding with Rico Hill. Out of Smiley. 
Hill top of the key for three. That's good. Rico Hill hits his first three-pointer of the season. You know, How about that? Talking with Kevin Stallings, he said he's solid as a rock inside the arc. I guess I should have asked him about a few more steps back. <laughs> he looked awfully good when he had the feet set. Five nothing. Redbirds on top. Hawkins plays to Jenkins. Jenkins puts up the runner and missed it, and we've got a foul call, and it's going to go against Illinois State. Boy, the Salukis are tough to match up against just for the mere fact that they have so many guys on the floor that can create their own shot. There you get a look at Monte Jenkins, who really has been coming on last year. About the last 10 games of the year, he started turning it up a notch, and then this year has been a really good, very, very good player for Rich Heron. In and out of the free throw. Jenkins, a 61.5 percenter at the line this season, coming off a 17-point night here Tuesday against Evansville. Just under double figures at points at 9.5. And Jenkins puts the Salukis on the board. Now everybody can sit down, take a seat, and enjoy the ball game. <laughs> Here's the pass to midcourt. They beat the press. Inside, Watkins handles, draws the immediate double team. Smiley kicks. Here's Muller loading up for three. That's no good. And a running rebound to Jenkins. On the cut, here's Hawkins to the trailing Tucker and a foul. Well, that really was textbook basketball coming down in a break. All three slots filled. Very unselfish basketball by Southern Illinois. Let's go look at Jenkins, gives it up to Hawkins. Hawkins, a little jump stop, jump shot pass, which is a dying art. And Jenkins goes up nice and strong and draws the foul. Rico Hills first. The free throw for Tucker drops out. You know, I don't know what's going on with society when I don't see so many. I hardly see any jump shot passes these days. These kids yeah. nowadays, it's, but it's such an effective pass, you know? Tucker's first point, and that makes it 5-2. to two. The Salukis are trailing by three. A little three-quarter court pressure by the Salukis. Hill going in, took an extra step. And the Salukis get it back. And you know what? Pressure forces you to put the ball in hands of people in spots that you're not real comfortable with. And that was a direct correlation with the pressure that Southern Illinois applied. Well, they have been effectively able to keep the ball out of Hudson's hands. The Illinois State coming up with it. Here's Smiley. Inside, Watkins, up and in. Watkins.